Hello everybody, this is Rorskeet again from Pixeltrip.com. So today, we are going to be taking a look at another hard mode. This is going to be Armory. However, I decided instead of showing you guys just boss battles, uh, I'd do a speed through of the whole dungeon. Uh, a couple things I wanted to say first. Uh, if I do have any loyal viewers out there, I really appreciate it. It's cool of you guys to come back and watch my videos. I am definitely, however, going to try to step it up. Maybe get two or three videos up a week instead of just one and, uh, you know, try to work on maybe making them better for you guys. Uh, if you have anything, uh, you know, any new games you want me to take a look at, maybe, you know, check out for you, let, let you know what I think. Or, you know, if you just have any requests or things I should do better when I'm reviewing these, uh, you know, I'll definitely take them into consideration and I appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, first boss is kind of easy. This is by far one of the easiest hard modes there are. Uh, pretty much just tank and spank. Uh, you know, do your same block and roll and tank and spank. Uh, I had an extremely good group, so don't expect it to be quite as easy as uh, it looks. Um, you know, I, I mean, our healer was able to keep me pretty much at full health throughout the whole thing while DPSing. I believe they were like second or third DPS, so... Yeah, you know. One thing I will say, there are a couple of problems I've seen so far. You know, overall, I think it's a great game. Definitely not, you know, regretting buying it or putting so much time into it. Um, you know, end game stuff is really fun. I've actually just got my first two pieces of tear gear this weekend, so pretty stoked about that. Uh, you can see my shoulders kind of glow green there when I'm not in ice form, which I am most of the time, or I try to stay. Um, but you know, a couple of things they could have done, they really should look into maybe doing cross server, um, look for group, you know, the looking for dungeon finder, cause it's just, you know, it's still a new game, so there's not nearly the player base that is needed for one server to, you know, get, get a party together, and also it's been kind of buggy, you know, you'll already have a tank and they'll throw two tanks in there, or, you know, a couple healers or a couple controllers or whatever you know you're just not going to have all the members I've you know resorted to kind of going to um, you know my server you know just kind of spamming looking for group but you know I mean is that is definitely the way to do it as far as if you're looking to do it without you know having random assholes who you know you're not you know because when you have people on your own server you tend to be a little more courteous because you know you don't want that rep but, uh, you know, when you do a random and, you know, you, you can be as big of a dickhead as you want because you're probably never going to see the people again. Um, but onto the boss, I mean, essentially you're going to come in, he's going to spawn them adds, just AOE him down. Uh, as you can see, our healer probably should have done a little less DPS and more healing, but, you know, whatever makes him happy. That's one thing I will say, however, any healers out there, we really appreciate it and we love you and all, but you don't have to attack. We'll be perfectly happy if you could just heal us. <laughs> you know, uh, it's nothing worse than, you know, it's not bad when you have somebody who's fully geared, you know, they're wearing all tier 1, probably some tier 2 pieces. But, you know, when you're just getting in here and you're trying to get gear, you know, just focus your role. Uh, if you're tank, don't worry about switching to damage mode here and there to try to get some extra DPS out. You know, <clears throat> just overall, just follow your, follow your role. Don't try to be a hero. Uh... Even if you are a hero, then I will kill you. But, yeah. So, I mean, after you kill those adds, you know, burn down the first boss, burn down the second one. Fairly self-explanatory. Nothing too crazy to look out for. And then you're going to come through this hallway and uh, see all these guys. And you're going to have turrets shooting at you and everything. I believe I actually uh, died up here because, uh, like I said, our healer really was DPS crazy. But, you know, it's one thing I definitely also have to say about this game if you know, you're getting sick of some other MMORPGs. <coughs> wow. Uh, you know, everything I've seen so far, and wow, it's not even the game itself that, or the content that's making me not want to play. It's the player base. Everything I do in there is just a bitch fest. And if you die once or somebody dies once, oh, it's the end of the world. Everybody freaks out. Uh, you know, from what I've seen in this game, unless you wipe three or four times because of somebody being completely retarded, then... You know, everybody's pretty chill. You die, you run back, whatever. It's not a big deal. You know, it's a game. You're supposed to be having fun, not, oh, I need to get this gear, I need to get this gear. It's not supposed to be like a job. It's supposed to be a game. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, player base by far seems to be a lot better. Of course, I'm sure it'll get worse as time goes on, just like any other game. Um, but from as of now, 
I, I'm having a great time. I actually just joined a new league today. Everybody's really cool in that. And, you know, also if you if you're running a you know, running a party and uh you know, you get a few people that are really good, just just throw it out there, you know. You know, add them to friends list or tell them to add you if they ever need a tank or never need a healer, go ahead and add you up. Uh you'd be surprised at how effective it is. I've you know, had a couple times where I'm building a party or I'm in a party and we're looking for you know, a healer, then I just go to my friends list and say, hey, you want to come heal? And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, it, it's all about, uh, you know, having a decent, a, overall a decency for people, you know, decency for errors, you know, you, you need to be a little forgiving, not everybody's gonna, not everybody's ran it a million times like you have, or not everybody may have the gear you have, uh, <laughs> I'll stop my rambling for a second, this guy, uh, he he completely annihilates annihilates them. Could have made they make it super dramatic, super dramatic. And then he just throws out a bubble and they all drop. <laughs> but you know, overall, I'm still extremely happy with the game. Like I said, uh, trying to get to rating right now. Can't wait to get those videos up for you guys. And like I said, I just joined a new league, and uh, we're we started doing some PVP. We're gonna you know. We're doing a lot of world PvP. Unfortunately, that's when my fraps decides to mess up because uh, that was pretty fun, you know. Uh, that's another thing is, if you're if you play in a PvP server, don't get discouraged. Uh, you are gonna get PK'd all the time. Um, so onto this boss, you know, I miss I didn't say tell you anything about the toy boss because I mean it's self-explanatory. You kill the ads, run up, kill him. But this boss, you can let them other toys free, and they'll actually help you. He's gonna spawn a few ads, but still nothing crazy. Like I said, this is this is like the first hard mode you get, so it's definitely uh, you know it's it's not gonna be a problem for you, even if you are a little undergeared. Um, like I said, also if you don't know the fights, just say you don't know the fights. I haven't had a problem where anybody bitches about me not knowing fights. You know, you know they'll explain it to her, to you, and as long as you follow it, you'll you'll do fine. Um, just overall, I've been having a great time. I can't even bring myself to play WoW. I just, you know, it's just like when you play any other game, you get, you know, you, especially that, you know, you, you grind through it so much and, and then you look on forums to try to find anything worthwhile people are saying and there's never anything. It's always just people bitching about how there's one little bug, uh, you know, so overall, I definitely think everybody should give this game a try. Uh, I really like it. Uh, also, another thing I love, uh, not sure if you could tell, probably not, but I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. So yes, you can use PS3 and Xbox 360 controller as compared to a keyboard and mouse. Being that it's a hack and slash game and kind of more arcade style, definitely recommend it. It's a lot easier and also I could sit my ass on my bed and relax and play it as compared to having to be, you know, at my computer. Not that I don't love my mousey keyboard, but this game definitely a lot easier to use a uh, controller as far as I'm concerned uh, especially just controlling your character when you have super speed on that's a pain in the ass as it is let alone trying to use a mousey keyboard because so <laughs> we all know how your mouse can just randomly spaz out on you but yeah I mean not a whole lot to say about this one I'm gonna try to get some of the harder ones out such as Arcane Asylum that one's extremely fun there's a lot of cool mechanics in it uh, that's you know that's something I was really hesitant and worried about coming into this game was whether or not, you know, there was going to be any end game content because 0 to 30 leveling is extremely fast. Especially I would recommend doing group, like I said in my previous video. Anything party related in this game is phenomenal. Uh, especially questing. I don't think I I probably did two quests solo. Other than that, it was me and a buddy just grinding out quests in a party it makes it a lot easier especially when you get to these little parts that are instanced uh, they tend to be a little more challenging and normally you wouldn't be able to do them at the level they give it to you at I don't understand that but you know with two people it makes it a lot easier and you know it's definitely more fun to play with somebody so this boss he does have a few more he's a little bit harder uh, pretty much your phase one phase two and phase three is gonna spawn these little guys you need to book ass away from him kill these guys because he's gonna absorb that energy and it's gonna heal him and it's just not gonna be good for you it's gonna make him hit harder everything so you know pretty much you know he switches to phase two gets full health he gets a little bit bigger hits a little bit harder and he's still spawning them guys as you can see we're kinda slacking here uh, we we need you need to get on those guys as fast as possible uh, I'm you know I'm definitely uh, 
not doing that. That's definitely an error that I made here. But, you know, the other two, and my, our controller and our DPS were definitely handling it. But, you know, you really want to switch everybody out onto that and just beat them down because it's going to make your life a lot easier than just trying to stay on the boss and burn it because it's not going to happen. Other than that, that's pretty much how you beat this guy. Um, you know, like I said before, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions about any of the games I play or, you know, recommendations or you need any help with builds, just let me know. And once again, thanks for watching, guys.